Hello, welcome to HealthShift, where we give you healthy recipes that are easy to make, accessible and affordable. I'm your host, Vicky Wambura, and today I'm making a quick stopover at Sally's Kitchen, where we'll be talking about good bacteria. So, welcome Sally! Thank you, Vicky. Oh, wow. Hello. Hey, girl. Hi, how are you? I'm very well. Beautiful. Thank you. You look divine. You too. Oh, wow. That's Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. You're looking great yourself. Thank and you. I see we are matching colors today. This is how we roll. And it's coincidence. It wasn't <laughs> what planned. A coincidence. Voila. It just happened. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm excited to be here today. I know it's a quick stopover yeah. because you had mentioned something about probiotics, sure, sure. Um, good mm -hmm. bacteria. Mm -hmm. And so today we are out to just learn mm -hmm. a few things from you. Yeah. Um, so I'll let you just kick it in and take us through what you have in store. But, you know, as we begin, mm -hmm. please tell us just, you know, the story behind this. Um, what, how did you discover about this probiotics? Sounds very medical. <laughs> <laughs> With so much pleasure. Yeah, yeah. So how I discovered about probiotics, mm -hmm. I, uh, I think I've mentioned, mentioned it even to you and a few friends before that uh, um, God speaks to me uh, in various ways. And one of the ways that he speaks is that sometimes I hear a word repeatedly. Okay. So when I hear a word repeatedly, I check out what the word is and what it could mean for for me. And where do you hear this word? Like it's, it's just it just keeps come popping in my mind. Okay. And so I can't ignore it. Just a it new anyway. word that just comes to my mind. Just a new word that comes to my mind. Okay. So one of those fine days, I keep hearing probiotics. Mm -hmm. I've never heard of it before. Okay. So I keep hearing the word probiotics, and uh, I decided let me check on what this really means. And so when I check it out over the on, on Google. I, I, real, uh, I, I discovered that it's good bacteria. Okay, yes. The probiotics are good bacteria that go and counteract the bad bacteria in your body. Yes. And so it, it just neutralizes the whole system so that you are not prone to infections, bacterial infections. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what happens next, then I start uh, finding out what are these good bacteria. Uh, and uh, I start relating it to my life. What is God really communicating with this message? Uh, and so I decided, okay, maybe it's telling me to go and take probiotics because of the benefits that are in probiotics. So yes. I, I Google again what probiotics are, and I realized that probiotics are, are, are mostly in fermented foods. Okay. So I start taking fermented foods. Yes. But then after some time, I forgot, I forget about it. Then uh, after a few weeks, then I start developing digestion issues, tummy issues. My tummy was just aching. Okay. I, I could eat certain foods and it could just ache endlessly. Oh, wow. So I went, I went to the doctors and the doctor told me uh, uh, go for a, to go for a test, an H. pylori test. And uh, they found that I had H. pylori. And so it, for me, it, uh, it, it went back to the fact that I have to listen to God all the time. He told me that there was bad bacteria developing in my tummy because mm. H. pylori is because of accumulation of bad, bad bacteria, bacteria in your tummy. Wow. So if I had taken my probiotics that are good bacteria, yes. then they would have counteracted Counteract. there, yeah. that, and then I would have been healed naturally. I wouldn't have gone to oh, the hospital. Wow. But I had to go to the hospital and buy drugs and take yeah. those drugs for... Yeah. for two weeks and in the process of taking those drugs I developed fungal infection because now there is an overproduction of bacteria there's no balance yes, of the yes. two bacteria in my body because I'm, I'm assuming that you got some antibiotics yes and when we take antibiotics they are effective yeah. but then the result the other like side effect yeah is that you lose your good bacteria you lose your book big good bacteria okay and then so. I got a fungal infection and that was terrible I've never experienced that before oh. so I had to take antifungal uh, medicines too yes. so that it yes. it goes yeah wow yeah so from there I learned that uh, I, I need to be constantly on probiotics okay and it reminded me of when we were growing up and, and we used to have a lot of uh, probiotics naturally my, uh, our mothers used to give us fermented milk okay our mothers used to give us fermented porridge okay and uh, i think that really helped when we were younger because we never used to have bacterial infections yes nowadays i see in nairobi uh, i think because we eat food that maybe has uh, are infected we don't clean them so well there's so much bacteria and we are off our antibiotics we are not we really con yes. no, don't concentrate on that yeah. then we, our children really get bacterial infection and then now they have to take antibacteria yeah yeah, yeah. Wow. so so to avoid that it's better I've, I've learned i even tell this to my family members that they have to give their children probiotics, probiotics. so that they cannot get so that they prevent infections that really oh, they have to keep yes. treating yeah 
So what I'm liking about this is that probiotics mm. are not necessarily have to be medicines. Yeah. You get them in our foods. Natural How do we foods. naturally yeah. you know, get them naturally? Yeah. And that's what you're going to take us through today. And, How uh, we... and so also, as I look back into the, the different cultures that I've, I've, I've interacted with, I, I noticed that there are foods, there, there, there are foods that are fermented. Okay. Yeah, we, we talk of kombucha, we talk yes. of... Kiefer. Kiefer, we yes. talk about uh, f uh, fermented f yogurt for I mean fermented yogurt we talk about oh, yeah. fermented cassava that's uh -huh. uh, yeah in western uh, I mean in the in uh, West Africa they take a lot of fermented cassava okay. they have this flour that they use for making uh, ugali mm -hmm. that is a uh, corn flour uh, I mean the, the, the cassava flour that is fermented okay. they call it gari uh -huh. That's and they what gari they, they, is. Yeah, that's what gari is okay. it's fermented and it's, it tastes very good yes so you uh, in the West, they do. I mean, not in the West, but... Uh, it's the West of Africa. West of Africa. <laughs> <laughs> in the West of Africa, they have lots of fermented food. Yes. Yeah. Oh, so fantastic. Fantastic. It, it, you, you begin to think about it, and then you realize these things really help have, their health. And they've been there They've all been along. there all along. Yeah, yeah. so we don't have to go into the... You know the, the the things that have actually been made, like what what do they call it when they process it and yeah, exactly. it peel exactly. and things like that. Exactly. But we actually can find them in natural food. Yeah, yeah, they're there. Fantastic. God has created all this for us. Yes. So it's all the health is all in our foods. Great, Sally. Wow. Um. So I I'm guessing you will take us through where we can get our you know natural or easily we can get our our probiotics yeah. on everyday yeah. eating and yeah. yeah and the different forms of okay. probiotics yeah. okay which is basically fermented food okay yeah so yeah uh, I'll get right into it one of the main uh, probiotics uh, that is common well internationally and it's quite affordable for the middle class that is is yogurt okay. Yo yeah so yogurt uh, is uh, fermented and uh, if you read through it, it has a uh, culture. I know culture is very important because culture is the thing that helps uh, that helps develop the the good bacteria. Okay. Yeah. So yes. during fer fermentation. So if you go to the supermarkets, look for natural yogurt. Okay. The natural, the better. Mm -hmm. When it has sugar, I don't think it's as effective as a uh, as a. The, yes, because the, sugar also like multiplies bacteria. Yeah, sugar or, help, you know, yeah, a, multiplies a bacteria. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so it's better you take the natural yogurt, and so the natural yogurt. Once you read through it, you'll see that it has culture. So you that should helps look with the for life culture or look, culture yeah. in in the yogurt yeah. you buy. You look for life culture. Okay. You can go for any natural yogurt as long as it have uh, it has culture. culture. But uh, if your pockets are good, then you you go for the Greek uh, Greek yogurt. Okay. It's it's more expensive, but okay. it's oh, it's 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 equally good. It's much better than this one. Okay. Yeah, and then for 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 those again whose pockets are not that heavy. Dep or depending on your taste again, you can go for, for this fermented okay. milk. This is just fresh milk that is fermented. Again, if you're buying it, look, ensure that it's fermented and then check out that it also has live cultures. Okay, yeah. so it can be fermented, but it needs to have culture. It needs to have live culture. Okay. And that, that, another, another example is this also. This is also fermented yes. milk. It yes. has live culture. This is pretty affordable. It's about half a dollar. Okay. These two are half a dollar each. You don't, okay. you don't even get to a dollar. What I'm thinking about here as well, when you talk about fermented milk, yeah. is the Kalenjin milk. The ah, Mursik. the Mursik, yeah, from yeah. the from the from the Rift Valley. Yes. Yeah. I yeah. believe it also has the same properties. And it has the same properties. Very nutritious. Yeah. I, I, I know those kids, uh, the 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 kids from Rift Valley grow up. Taking this. Yes. And I remember even us when we were young, our parents used to give us this. Yeah. Our grandmothers used to make this in the gourd. Yeah. And for, for three, uh, for, I think for two or three days, they used to ferment milk for us. And then they used to send it to us. Oh, wow. So we lived on I mean, I fermented milk. I love this that we have indigenous knowledge. Indeed, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that has that a, was lost in the process yeah. Yeah, of cultural, I mean, globalization or culturalization, <laughs> whichever it is. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, fantastic, fantastic. Mm -hmm. So we can have yogurt, we can have um, fermented, milk fermented milk or with culture. With culture. And then other, other than that, we have apple cider vinegar, which apple also cider. can act as a, a probiotic. Okay. Most households uh, don't know it, okay. but there are a few households that are embracing it right now. Okay. So you take this, a spoon of it uh, with warm water in the morning, fasting in the morning, uh -huh. it, uh, and, and add some lemon. 
it also uh, makes your body alkaline okay. first thing in the morning. Wow. Yeah. So okay. when your body is more alkaline than acidic, then it's not it's 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 uh, not good breeding ground for bacteria. Okay. Yeah. So I think because this is also a, a process of fermentation. Yeah, it's well, also a process right? of okay. fermentation. Okay. Fantastic. Yeah. True, Fantastic. True, true, true. Yeah. We and then we have uh, flour. Okay. Flour. So this is a combination of different forms of flour. Okay. And it is used for making porridge. Okay. So uh, this this particular one doesn't have it is not fermented. Okay. But if you go to the supermarkets, you you can always look for fermented flour. porridge flour. Okay. Yeah. So look for fermented porridge flour and not sour porridge flour, because two different things. Two different things. Because if you find the one that is written sour or the one that has souring agent, yeah. then it just means that they've added some citric acid or oh, something to make it, make it sour. sour so it is actually ah. not a probiotic it is it has not gone through the fermentation process okay so make sure okay. that it is littered, written fermented flour okay flour mm -hmm. and that uh, some of them have culture also okay yeah okay. so okay. Yeah. just check out on that and ensure that you take so that's the easier right way one. yeah to go so, about the fermentation yeah. so this particular one has a, a different ingredient it has a special wimby then it also has uh, roasted nuts that is also very nutritious. Oh, we wow. talk about zinc right now, okay. especially with the flus, we need the zinc. We get that from uh, a variety of nuts. And then we have ma amaranth. Amaranth, okay. uh, it's commonly known as terere in Kenya, yes, yes. but it has loads of proteins. Wow. Oh yeah. So okay. you, again, these things are taken with moderation because amaranth, if you overtake it, you take it so much again, you, there's so much protein in it. Oh, okay. Yeah. I remember there's a time my dad used to take it so much because it has yeah, it had just been it had just hit the market become and the information food. it had just become a super food <laughs> and it put, put, put on so much weight. Yeah. It didn't okay. realize. Yeah. So my mom keeps warning me, don't take amaranth, you'll put on weight. Oh. The protein is too much. So you have but to take everything it. Everything is moderation. Moderation. Everything is so moderation. So what we will do with this is Yeah, so with this learn, one, yeah, yeah. We are going to learn how to make fermented uh, uh, po porridge. porridge flour okay. from from uh, from your kitchen. Wow. When you go to the supermarket, please look for the flour that has a variety of ingredients or uh, that have different nutritional benefits. Don't just look for one that has millet only. You want okay. a mix of a different, mixture. yeah, a mix okay. of different uh, nutrition uh, things with nutritional benefits. Okay. Yeah. So uh, to ferment this, I, I, you know, I, I thought. Like, I never knew you could ferment these things at home, like just in your normal, ordinary kitchen, but I'm excited to learn this It depends today. on where you grow up. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. <laughs> Lucky are those <laughs> Lucky who are grew me. up in, you know, yeah, shags. So, yeah, we'll just need this uh, flour and we'll need some warm water okay. to help with the to speed up the fermentation process. If you're in places where uh, the weather is a bit hot, then you don't need the warm water. Okay. Because the weather is quite warm. Yes. Yeah, it will just go through the fermentation process easily. So we just take a, a measure of warm water, add into a jug that you're going to be using continuously because uh, you'll keep adding oh, to you'll this. Oh, you keep adding. You'll, okay, yeah, yes. It, when it goes, the quantity goes down, you keep adding you keep to adding. it. Yeah, so the first few days you'll take, uh, for, for the first fermentation process, you'll take about uh, four days for it to ferment. ferment but yes. after that, you can be doing two days because you'll just be adding flour and water into okay. it, so to the, the already fermented one. This is now beginning to make sense to me because yeah. this is like uh, making a starter when you are baking and want to make sourdough. Uh -huh. So it's the same process. Oh, really? Now I understand, okay. All right. But I'm learning, Great. you know something new every day with you here in your kitchen. Health shift. <laughs> and I'm learning from you too. Thank you. It's amazing. Yeah. So. Can you just tie it Yeah, you just tie it. Can I, you can, I can add you more. This? Yeah, sure, please. Thank it's you. Exciting. Until it becomes a, a, a little bit thick, like the thick, the, the, uh, the thickness of a pot, the porridge. The, the consistency of it. porridge, yeah. Okay. yeah. It's now the right consistency. I think it's the right consistency. Just make sure that there is not the, the, there are no lumps left okay. there, down there, yeah. Okay. Because you want your porridge lumpless. And that's it. Nothing else. You don't put in anything else. Nothing. Nothing. Don't add lemon into this. Don't add citric acid into it. It will be fermented and it will taste sour. Yeah, I think it's now the right consistency, uh -huh. and I think it's well mixed. Thank you so much, Vicky. Yeah. So after that, what we do now? is just uh, cover it up well. Okay. 
and let it ferment for, for about four days. Four days? Yeah. So you can put it out in the sunlight okay. because it's well covered. It speeds up the fermentation the process. process. Yes. Yeah. So. Or just put it aside somewhere. Or, or in just kitchen. put it aside somewhere in, in a warm place in your kitchen. Okay. Yeah. Great. Mm -hmm. So after four days, basically it will be okay. Uh, so what you'll do after four days when you now you, you are ready to make your porridge? Is, is there it's a way fermented. it's going to look after four days? It will be a little bit. It'll have bubbles. Or yeah, a little bit of a bubbly yes. at the, at the, on the top. Yes. Yeah, that shows you that it's already fermented. Fermented now. Now, okay. now it is a pro probiotic. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You can use it. So what you do is just the same way you make porridge. Okay. This mixture is already is, is ready for you to make porridge. Porridge. Yeah. So you just put hot water. Yeah. For the porridge on the on on your stove. Yes. And then you. Take a little bit of this, maybe half of it, depending on the number of people that are going to serve the porridge. Okay. Then you take a little bit of that. When the water is boiled, then you add it to the water and make your porridge. And make your porridge. Follow yes. the normal process of yes. making porridge. porridge. Then, once you've used that, let, let me put it aside. But yes, now we are understand. assuming so you've already. That is for making the porridge. Yeah. Once it's fermented. Yeah. We are assuming this is what you have used to make the porridge. Yes. So and this is what left. is left. Okay. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Problem? This is what is left, and this. Uh, so this again, you add fresh flour. Now this flour. Okay. You add fresh flour into uh -huh. it and add some water into it. Oh, to keep this to keep, going. To now. keep it going, so yes. that you don't have to wait another four days. Oh yeah. Yeah. So okay. now we'll only wait. You, you can always be making your porridge every day because already the one that was there had already, already fermented. fermented. So it kind of speeds up this fresh it, yeah, one. Exactly. Okay. It so picks off. Add a bit more and a bit of water as well. And a just bit the of same water. process. And it becomes it a routine. It becomes a routine. But if you don't want, it's good to take it or yes. every day. Give it to your children every day. Also, you as an individual, you can take it every day. But uh, if you can't make this every day, if you can't keep the routine, maybe you put it to the fridge to slow down the oh. fermentation process. Yes. Or you go for the fermented flour, flour that you can always make anytime. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. so if you want to slow it down, put it in the fridge. Yeah. If you want to speed it up, put it somewhere warm. Yeah. And voila, yeah. you've got your... So flour. for me, because I take a different probiotics, there's, my, there's a fermented milk, milk and there's apple cider vinegar, yes. I don't have to take the porridge every day. Yes. So I go for the fermented flour. But as long as at least once a day, once you take a, something that is probiotic. If you have a, a big family with children, it's, yes. it's, 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 it's cheaper to go for this. Fantastic. Wow, fantastic. Mm -hmm. You know, um, one of the biggest concerns I think we're seeing lately is that children are, are so much on antibiotics. Not even right, children. Even right. now in this COVID season, yeah. people have been taking antibiotics to deal with their symptoms. Right, right. Um, and one thing I, 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 I know about antibiotics is as much as they're effective, mm -hmm. again, mm -hmm. they, they really burn you out in good bacteria. True, true. So, mm -hmm. You know, I'm liking that you've given us different options mm -hmm. of, of, of how to get good bacteria. Mm -hmm. uh, but maybe just run us through the benefits of, of having this. Like, what does it help with? Um, maybe mm -hmm. with children especially, mm -hmm. I think. Mm -hmm. um, uh, yeah, take us through that. Thank you. Okay, yeah. So, as I said before, probiotics are good bacteria that go and counter the bad bacteria that is in the, in the body. Yes. Yeah, so one of the things that it helps with, it, it helps with the treating yeast infections. Uh -huh. well, I mean, preventing UTIs, mostly, yeah, mo mo preventing UTIs yes. and yeast inf infections yeah. because already the, the, there's a good balance of bacteria, yes. both the yes. good and the bad bacteria. Yes. So you, you're not prone to yeast infections. So you, you basically just prevent them. Yeah. Yeah. I think even like w even when you do have uh, like a UTI, you can just have your natural yogurt and stuff. And One of the natural treatments at home, uh, when you have a UTI, they, they tell you to take natural yogurt, yogurt yes. and, and voila, you don't have to go and get medicines. It I helps, mean, no, you have to, uh, yeah. it depends on how bad it is, okay. but uh, they tell you to take the, take it, the take natural it. yogurt, yes. but you, you don't have to get there. If you always are on antibiotics, then you, yes. that is taken care of. Okay. Yeah, and then uh, there's also the fact that it's, uh, it's lactose intel intolerant, okay. so you can take milk uh, yes. that is lactose intolerant. Uh, Yes. Especially for those people who are lactose intolerant. Okay. This one is with the probiotics are very good for you to, okay. for dealing with that. Okay. Yeah? Then it also helps with the, some skin conditions such as eczema. If oh. you take, anti, yeah, wow. if you take the probi probiotics. probiotics. Yeah. It uh, helps, for me, again, it helps with the treating uh, uh, stomach and 
with stomach issues. Yes. For children who have stomach issues and uh, 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 respiratory issues, uh -huh. it helps with that too. Uh -huh. yeah. So the more they take them, the more they limit, oh, um, they, they prevent that. Yes. Yeah, so, so infections in children uh, for, for digestive issues, probiotics are very important also because now your colon is taken care of yes, also. Yes, so yes. bacteria don't, don't grow there so much. Yeah. Then uh, it's also important for gut health. I think we've, we've talked about gut, gut health, health in that previous, health, yes, previous yes. video. Gut health is very important for overall health. Mm -hmm. So it also goes and counters the bad bacteria that is in the gut. It also helps with the issues of gas. Hey. Yeah, bloating and gas. Yes. The probiotics help. Is it a particular kind of you know form you take that probiotic in, or it doesn't matter? It doesn't matter. Today we were talking about those ones that are easily accessible. accessible. Yes. And those ones that we, we can easily afford. Yes. And these are re reintroducing things that we were taking as young children. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That we had let go of. Yeah. Yeah. So it helps with that. It it also supports the immunity. Someone our immunities. Yeah. Yeah. Because yes. of the good bacteria. Yes. Again. Yeah, and then it, it, it builds a strong barrier against uh, uh, bad bacteria. Yes. Yeah, because yeah. now again, the good bacteria, the probiotics, is balancing the other, so, balancing out the whole. What I like here is that we've learned that not all bacteria is bad. Yeah. There is good bacteria, and, and that's is. what we want to build up on, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, and this true. is the ways that we can get good bacteria into yeah, our system. Yeah, yeah. This is fantastic. Yeah. I, I really love that, you know, mm -hmm. you got the word probiotics. Yeah. And here you are, like it actually exists, but yeah. it's something that you were not aware of yeah. before, yeah. and now it's really helping your your, yeah. your health. It's taken me back to my, my, my the original yeah. ways of healthy living. And what I love about you know mm. everything that you bring onto the show is mm. to show us how there are already natural things that we can get that God has already provided these yes, things yes. for us, True. and so that's really exciting yeah. to be able to and we can say we can bring it back to our kitchen True. and to our tables and mm -hmm. we're having a healthier life. Mm -hmm. And there you have it, folks. Um, this is Health Shifts, and I believe that we have learned something new today. Mm -hmm. um, try and make the fermented porridge or flour mm -hmm. at home. It's quite easy from what we have seen. Mm -hmm. Do pop it in the comments if you have tried it. Give us feedback. We'd love to hear from you. Mm -hmm. um, and until next time, we'll see you.